ओम नम प्रणवाय शुद्ध ज्ञानकमूर्त निर्मलाय प्रशाताय दक्षिणामूर्त वंस अपन ए टाइम ए गुरु वॉज सिटिंग इन द कॉन्ग्रीगेशन एंड गुरु जी गिव दर्शन मैनी पीपल केम एंड दे वर टेकिंग दर्शन एंड ही वॉज साइलेंट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम गुरु जी स्वामी जी इज ऑल्सो साइलेंट यू नो गिव साइलेंस सो he was silent most of the time but when people come and ask him something he said oh you are very lucky so a student came to swami ji uh, the guru ji at swami ji and he said i failed in my exam <laughs> and swami ji the guru they have said you are very lucky <laughs> and then the next person comes say i lost my job said you are very lucky <laughs> the third one came and said you know none of my friends are talking to me everybody has become my enemies he said you are very lucky <laughs> and another gentleman came said you know my my wife left me i said you are very lucky <laughs> so everyone kept saying their problems and every time the gurudev said you are very lucky and strangely suddenly something would happen they would also feel happy and walk away but then one gentleman came and said guru ji i am so lucky i have you in my life i'm so lucky my life is so f- i'm so grateful and guru dev gave me one slap <laughs> he got annoyed and gave him one slap this man with all tears and gratitude started dancing <laughs> so there was an onlooker who was sitting he got so confused said what is this what am i seeing this is i can't believe what i'm seeing someone who is come and says i'm so grateful and he gets a slap and all those who come and cry they said you are very lucky <laughs> so could not understand and uh, usually they don't have uh, guts to ask the gurudev himself so they usually ask the other devotees and disciples he tell me what's happening what is you have been here for so long I, i can't understand i can't make out this guru's behavior can you tell me it completely illogical as usual devotees have their own interpretation <laughs> they all say gurudev said so when it was asked so one of the senior most devotee said yeah you know it's perfect what is it so when someone came and said i failed in my exam he said you are very lucky i remember um a very senior gentleman in bangalore ashram he came and told, narrated an incident he said uh in 1942 there was one doctor in bangalore only one surgeon and the surgeon had failed seven times mbbs <laughs> seven times he failed but he became the inventor when whenever people had appendicitis operation they used to cut a particular nerve or a, you know a vein so people would die 
because people would not understand which nerve, which uh, vein is that they were cutting. So this gentleman discovered that, and he's very well known, he was very well known and he was respected, he got honor, international honor later on. But he said, but he failed seven times in MBBS. So if someone has failed in an exam, they study more. <laughs> you know, if you pass once, you just study once, but hook or cook, you passed and that's it, you forget it. <laughs> but if you have failed, you become very well proficient in that. If you have failed in mathematics, you have really by hearted the whole thing. You memorize the whole thing. So every time someone fails an exam, it's a good luck because he become a better doctor, better engineer. <laughs> Means he has to put more effort and studies more of the same topic. So he said, you are very lucky, you are studying more. Then the other gentleman who came, he said, I lost my job. He said, yes, Gurudev said the right thing. When you are in job, you don't think about yourself. Now when you lost the job, at least you got the time to sit back and think who you are, what you want. Think about your life. You have some time. People who have a job, they're running all the time. They always complain, I don't have time. No, you got some time. In life, getting time itself is big luck. Getting time to reflect on oneself, on the divine, divine on the truth, on who I am, itself is a big luck. So you are very lucky you got the time. So another gentleman whose wife ran away <laughs> said, you are very lucky. Since so far you were living life so insensitive, you did not bother to see what your wife needs. So when she runs away, when someone goes away, then you realize their value. Then you think about it, what mistakes you did. You become aware of the things that you could have done better. And so you are very lucky that you become sensitive to women's issue. Why would a woman run away if you are not really attending to her uh, welfare, attending to her emotional, mental, and physical needs? There is something you have done wrong that she made you aware that you have to, sense, you have to be sensitive to women. So, he understood, so he was also happy. So like this, in every step in life, when you lose something or when you gain, you become so miserable, every misery wakes you up. There are three levels of human consciousness, human existence that plays. The first is being so inert. Inertia, ghor jadat, in, in Hindi we say ghor jadat, means so insensitive, just so much inertia, you don't feel anything. From inertia, when you start realizing there is misery, life is miserable, then viveka dawns in you, discrimination dawns in you, vairagya, dispassion dawns in you. So when dispassion has come into your life, you are the most lucky. So if you, all your friends have left, they have given time to reflect on yourself, who you are, what you are, what you want, what is the life, what is truth. So you are very lucky. So first step is to realize everything is miserable, life is miserable, life is sorrow. That's when people become religious. This is a step. And then the next step is, life is all blissful. That is moving from jadata, inertia, to realize it's all misery. And from it's all misery to moving to the step, where is the misery? Come on, wake up. This is where the Guru comes into play. The Guru's presence, a Guru Tattva dawns, the misery vanishes and becomes bliss.
total bliss. Life is all bliss. Life is a game. Life is a leela. This understanding comes. Now, why did the last person who was saying, I'm so grateful, got a slap? And said, Gurudev gave a slap to him. Of course, even there, he centered about, I, I am grateful. So you are the center. Gave a slap, he realized that exists, live as though you don't exist. Usually people exist and they don't live without life. Exist without life is ignorance. Living as though you don't exist is enlightenment. That one slap. <laughs> woke him up. I, I, I am miserable. I am happy. I'm, where is me? I'm not there. Live as though you are not there. That message that last gentleman got, when he got that slap, he became so happy that what is there to be grateful about? Even to say grateful, there need to be two. And the master says, hey, come on, wake up. You and me, too? One slap of you? <laughs> There's only one. There is no you, there is no I. There's only one Brahman that exists, and this is all the drama, it's all the Leela. Enjoy. When you realize that misery vanishes from life. So every opportunity, every challenge is an opportunity and every opportunity is a step towards the divinity. That's the moral of the story. But when... <clears throat> one more story. Yeah. In a world is like this, all the five fingers, you have heard this many times, right? Every finger is different. Not two fingers are the same. So once all the fingers got into trouble, they were arguing who is great among themselves. The thumb said, <clears throat> I am the greatest, I am the stoutest. And whenever people win, they only show me. <laughs> what do they show? If they want to say, go, go ahead, they give me this signal. Everybody shows me because I am the greatest, I am the thickest, I am the... I'm the real stuff, you know. <laughs> the thumb. Impression also. Even someone doesn't, has not studied anything, they will take thumb impression. <laughs> uh, take it. Yeah. So thumb said, I am the greatest. But then the index finger said, hey, come on. People have to indicate, they indicate me only. They won't indicate like this. <laughs> they show you like this, you know. If anybody who knows, who has wisdom, they always show. They show the path. So I am the one who gives the direction to life. I am the one who gives direction to anything in life. So I am greatest. Then the middle finger said, I think you all must be blind. Just hold anybody's hand who stands tall. <laughs> said, I am the tallest. Why do you unnecessarily argue? This is like arguing whether there is sun in the, at noon. I'm always there. See, I'm the tallest. And then the ring finger said, I can only laugh at you all. Where do people decorate? Where do they put the jewels? You know? One who is the highest, to whom they give all the jewels. Nobody gives jewel to the thumb. <laughs> the rings are always adorned by the Ring finger said, I am the highest, and everybody, the world over, they recognize, I am the greatest. And the little finger kept simply laughing. <laughs> and the all other four asked, hey, why are you laughing? You know, whenever a dignitary comes, who is kept in front? <laughs> if someone goes to a temple to pray, uh, to go in front of God, who is kept in front of God? The highest goes in front of God first. 
so nobody does like this. <laughs> Everyone prays like this. So I am the closest to God. Whoever is closest to God is the greatest. <laughs> he said, I am the closest to God, so I am the greatest. So all fingers had their own way to say huh, that they are the greatest. Yeah? So recognize the greatness in you and recognize the greatness in others. And then there is no you, there is no others. That is Namaste. That is fullness. You know, that is the fullness. Just remember this point, what is that? From inertia to realizing the misery. Buddha took you from there to there. And from where the misery to move on to the place. You are blissful. All is bliss is the Vedanta. Shunyata and Purnata. Meditation and celebration. They all go together. And today is the celebration of both meditation and celebration. <laughs> Jai Gurudev.